Social norms are everywhere in human cultures. Social norms guide what we wear, what we eat, how we greet one another, even how we touch one another and how we look at one another. And we know now that other animals have cultures. We know that some groups of monkeys wash sweet potatoes and others don't. We know that different groups of whales sing different songs. Are these social norms? That's my question. To answer that question, we have to ask, how do we find out whether these behaviors are social norms? So I propose that we can investigate social norms in animals if we look for normative regularities. That's patterns of behavior that are socially maintained in a group. So for example, we can look and see whether conforming to a pattern of behavior is incentivized by other group members and whether not conforming to the pattern is disincentivized by other group members. We already recognize sentience in vertebrate animals in the Canadian research context. We already have regulations about how to treat horses and cows and pigs and chicken and fish. Um, so what it would mean if we recognize sentience in invertebrates is that octopuses and lobsters and shrimp and insects or whichever invertebrates we're identifying as sentient would also be included under um, welfare consideration. If we were to recognize that invertebrates are sentient, then we have to figure out what uh, sort of treatment those invertebrates need in order to have their welfare supported. So welfare science is something that's right, alive and well in the Canadian context. We already have a lot of uh, research that's going on about how best to treat um, chickens and house chickens so that they thrive in industrial circumstances, or at least they don't suffer. And it would be the same for invertebrates. Recognizing invertebrate sentience should promote animal welfare science and comparative cognition research. I mean, that's what we really need. We need to better understand what matters to invertebrate animals who are sentient. We can't decide what's harmful to these animals if we don't know what bothers them. What hurts an uh, octopus might be different from what hurts a fish because they're very different sorts of animals. And so it really does require more research and more research funding 